This is Ruski Ed, and welcome to Russian Nouns Lesson Number 12. You want to learn Russian, but you think it's too tough, too confusing, and all that stuff. Funny looking letters, what's that you said? It's time to learn Russian with Ruski Ed. We start this lesson off with the letter SHA, as in SHUM and SHEA. The letter SHA has that good old SH sound. In English it takes SH to make SH, but in Russian you got SHA with one letter. What a deal. Our next letter is SHA. I didn't mean to stutter, but it's kind of like SHA only with some extra shushing going on. So I like to accentuate that to make it very abundantly clear. Our word to go with SHA is Shikolitka. Now it should be pointed out that sha is a very soupy word. The letter is used in the names of two famous Russian soups. There is cabbage soup and there is beet soup, otherwise known as shishi and borsh. Our next letter is tvyordiznak, otherwise known as the hard sign. There are not an enormous number of Russian words that contain the hard sign. In fact, we're not even going to have a sample word for Tevyordi's knock. Just remember it's the hard sign. It represents kind of a little pause in the word. The other thing you should know about the hard sign is that there are absolutely no words in Russian that begin with it. In fact, this is also true of our next letter. Ui is in muish. Sometimes the letter ui is referred to as yiri. You may not run across this very often, but it is something you should have stored away in your brain cells somewhere. Our next letter is meyakiznak, or the soft sign. Our word to go along with meyakiznak is pismo. Pismo means letter, as in the kind of letter that you send through the mail. If we're talking about the kind of letter as in the alphabet, then we use the word bukva, which is our final word for lesson 12 on nouns. And here are the letters we covered in this lesson today. You can see at the top we have sha and sha, and then down at the bottom we have tevyordiznak, ui or yiri, and meyakiznak. Our first phrase for the day is another way of asking how someone is doing by way of greetings. You can say kak zizen, which more or less means how are you, but more specifically it means how is life. Kak zizen. Our next phrase incorporates one of the words we just learned in the lesson. The phrase is spasiba za pismo. Thank you for the letter. Spasiba za pismo. And here we are, we have made it to the end of lesson 12. So this is Ruski Ed signing off with Das Vidanya. It's time to learn Russian with Ruski Ed.